Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a pretty interesting one. Boomer and I are out on a hammock hot tent adventure in the snowstorm that was forecasted to come in the previous video. So if you guys didn't see that video, go back and check it out. Link down in the description. This was a storm that I was talking about. So dumped on with snow in the forest, hammock hot tent pitched and ready to go. Boomer's loving the snow. He's got his jacket on, his sweater on. We both have multiple changes of clothing items, so we're going to stay nice and dry and not get too cold. But his beard is all frosted up right now. i got to keep cleaning his beard out. So we're going to get started on a small fire in the wood stove to make up a hot drink and take the day from there. So let's get cracking, guys.
All right, everybody, working on a cup of hot coffee right now, and it is getting late in the day. I have a fallen tree directly behind the camera that is full of limbs and all kinds of good firewood. So I'm not actually gonna collect any more firewood or process anything more. The wood that I did process is a little damp, so I've got it all around the stove to dry out. Keep in mind, both doors of the tent are wide open right now, so it's not gonna trap a lot of heat in here. And right now it's probably about zero degrees, maybe negative one, so it's not that bad. But we are getting late in the day, and I do need to still cook and eat, and so does Boomer. So I've got my food bag here, and I've got my cup of coffee on top of the stove right now. Just gonna turn my attention to cooking while I still have a little bit of daylight. Boomer, I think, is gonna jump up in the hammock for a little bit and relax. He has a couple snowballs here, so I'm gonna have to take this sweater off, hang it up, and dry it out, and uh, he'll be all nice and warm for later on. So I'll get you up there right now. He'll probably just lounge there and watch what's happening. Uh, for supper, what I brought is something really simple. So I got these shrimp-flavored chips. They're like little puffs. Boomer likes them as well. So I brought those. I brought some yakisoba noodles. So a little bit of a ramen dish and a couple of other odds and ends in here that I'm going to add to it as I'm cooking. So everything's going to be done on the wood stove and uh, it, it'll take a little bit of time. So that's kind of what I'm trying to say is cooking and then collecting firewood later on as I need it. Now I'm never actually going to rely on the wood stove to stay warm. My hammock's rated for negative 40 and I have two top quilts inside. So I'm gonna be plenty warm without the wood stove. And honestly, I'm just gonna let it go out tonight. I'm gonna to put a couple pieces in there, let it light up the tent with some ambience and let it do its thing and go out. I'll be totally warm. Wake up in the morning, light it up again and make hot coffee or tea and take the day from there. So I'm just gonna finish this cup up really quick and then start on supper.
All right, guys, supper's just about ready. I've been battling this wet firewood situation for a little bit, but I think we're starting to get on top of it. The stove's throwing a lot of heat right now. So much heat that I can actually strip out of my down jacket, even with both doors wide open. Before I do start eating, I am gonna close the back door though, because it is gonna start getting cold. And as this starts to burn down, it's gonna get cold and it's just gonna be a constant uncomfort level of load the stove, put jacket on and all that. So. I'm gonna let that simmer for a moment. It's just about ready. Gonna go on to the back side, close those two door flaps, come back inside, and hopefully enjoy a nice hot dinner. All right guys, supper is all finished up with. Two thumbs up on that. Made noodle soup, so had plenty of broth in there. Nice hot drink and some food at the same time. Boomer is full too. He snacked on a few things and uh, he's itching to get up in the hammock, but I gotta get that wet clothing off him before he jumps in. So I think we've conquered our wet wood situation here. The fire seems to be burning pretty steady right now. It's actually getting really warm in here. And the whole concept with the hammock hot tent is you're not down in the cold area where the stove is, you're actually up where the hot air is rising up. So it's easy to get really hot in here with the small stove is what I'm trying to say. You don't really need a huge fire. You can have a small stove, a small fire, and you're laying up in the heat. So it's actually quite comfortable. So I'm gonna be getting my shoes off, my snow pants off. I'm gonna hang them up over my ridge line on my hammock, that way they're up higher and uh, they'll dry out because they'll be in the heat channel. And there goes Boomer jumping in the hammock. So I guess he's in now, um, <laughs> sort of. There you go. Where are you at? So that's kind of our task right now is 
get all this wet clothing off and start relaxing. You guys can see there's not a lot of firewood down here. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be putting the fire out. I don't bother sleeping with the stove on. I don't need to. I brought more insulation than what I'm gonna need. Plus to wake up constantly loading a stove is never fun. So that's enough there for the morning to get the stove going again and have hot coffee, hot tea, like I was mentioning earlier to you guys. But uh, I think we're gonna call it a night. I'm gonna wrap this up and kick back tonight and just relax, clean up the tent a little bit, get everything ready for the morning. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do catch you guys in the morning so good night everybody see you when it's time for hot coffee
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful but cold morning out here in the forest this morning. The wood stove is putting out loads of heat, especially sitting up here above it. Boomer is chilling out down here next to the wood stove like he always does. Um, wood, so let's talk about firewood. So the firewood around the stove is not the driest yet, but the limbs in the trees that I've been breaking off this morning seem like they've dried out overnight with all that wind coming through because it was wet yesterday and it was pretty dry but cold last night. So as you guys can see, the outside of the tent is covered in snow. It did snow all night. It was windy all night as well. And waking up today, everything has got a nice fresh dusting of powder on it. So hunkering inside of the tent this morning, it is windy, it is cold. So I'm just gonna chill out in here, do some morning coffee routine. Boomer's doing his morning firewood theft routine, which is something that he likes to do. Take firewood and hide it in random places and come back for more. So this is us for this morning. Good morning and coffee time. All right, so this is how the morning is gonna go. Basically just lounging around. Uh, the stove and the heat coming off of that right now is incredible. Even with that door wide open, I can still feel the heat lofting up into the living area. Boomer's liking it, he's definitely comfortable up here. And one thing I should mention, because I know a lot of people are gonna ask this, just trying to get my wool hoodie up here as a pillow is how close do you come to the wood stove because some people think it's a little too close some people think it's perfect honestly it's perfect so normally if i have a larger stove in here i won't run it this way i'll actually run it sideways and i'll position it so i can reach in from the side and load firewood whether i'm at head end this end or head end that end uh, so it works really really great but loading the stove i can show you guys right now and i'm in a negative 40 overstuffed downfill winter hammock so this is a big lofty hammock and it's totally safe but for loading firewood all i do in the middle of the night is simply reach down open the door toss in a piece of wood roll back over and continue watching a movie eating snacks or just going to bed or whatever very simple Lay back in the hammock, super comfortable. So once you get all the doors shut in here, and especially when it snows, you get a nice blanket of snow on top. Being canvas, it doesn't really radiate the heat as much as a sill nylon tent would or a synthetic tent. Uh, so I find that the snow doesn't melt as quick on this roof as it would with a synthetic tent, oddly enough. But uh, yeah, it's very, very comfortable. So like I said, me and Boomer in the hammock, just lounging here, lofting in all of that heat super super warm right now so we're just going to continue lazing around here feeding the stove full of wood burn it all up and uh, basically start the pack up process guys
All right, guys, I've got everything packed up inside of the bag, and I spared a lot of that with you guys because the winds are starting to pick up. It is cold out here, and snow is falling from the treetops like crazy in between these really large gusts of wind. So everything's packed away, ready to go. Got my axe saw, all my really important items that are outside of the bag. I really like to make sure that are secured really tightly to the bag, especially in the snow. Because when I start pushing through this bush, if anything falls out, it's gone forever. So made sure everything is strapped in tight and it's not going anywhere. Boomer is dressed and ready to go. A nice warm dry jacket. And we're ready to hit the trail. So if you have any questions or comments, drop it down below in the comment section. And as always, peace out guys. We'll catch you in the next episode.